Fourth grade math number seven. Round numbers and estimate to 100,000. An estimate tells us how many or how much, about how much. It's close to an exact amount. You can round a number to get an estimate. Have you ever heard your family or somebody say, I'm going to get an estimate on replacing the roof? And a bunch of people, come, roofers come out, and they say, well, I'll do it for this much. And the other one says, well, I'll do it for this much, but I'll give you this good quality. Well, it's not going to be an exact amount how much the roof will cost. It's just close so that your family knows how much the roof is going to cost and how much they need to spend. So, rounding off is pretty much like that. We have a number line right here. Here's 100,000, here's 150,000, and here's 200,000. See this pink number right here, 138,202. We're going to try to figure out where it would fall on the number line. Okay? Now, if you look at these little lines here, they're in between the 100 and the 150. Okay? So, each of these little numbers, if you look, this is 100, that's 150. So that means this is 110,000, 120,000, 130,000, 140,000. 150, look, 160,000, 170,000, 180,000, 190,000, 200,000. Now, if we were to look at this number line, where do you think 138,202 would fall? You can actually take the 202 off and the last three zeros of the hundred thousands and just use the 138 to kind of help you make it easier. So if that was 100 and that was 150, where would 138 be? Well, this is 110, 120, 130. Okay, so that's 130. So that means that's 140. Where would 138 fall? It would fall in between the 130 and the 140, wouldn't it? It would probably be about right there, right? Okay, so keep that black dot in mind. So, where is this number on the number line? About right there, right? What hundred thousands is it between? It's in between 100,000 and 200,000. Now, you don't want to say 150, because that's not 100,000. 100,000 means this place right here. And that 5 is not in this place, see? That's still 100,000. So, what 100,000 is it between? It's between 100,000 and 200,000. Which number is it closer to? Is this black dot closer to this side or this side? Well, yeah, it's closer to this side. So, 138,202 is closer to 100,000 than 200,000. See? So what number is halfway between 100 and 200,000? Right in the middle, 150. Now see that 5? That 5 is really important, okay? This is why. It was great using the number line to help us round off, but the best way to do it is to use place values. To use the place values, this is what you need to do. You need to identify which place value you're rounding to. Well, we know that's 100,000, right? It's that place right there. You look at the number to its right side. Oh, you look at this number, the number just to the right of it. We ask ourselves if the right side number is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. If yes, then the number in the place value, in that place value, stays the same. Then we ask ourselves, if the answer is no, is the number a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9? If it is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then that number in the place value goes up to the next biggest number. Okay? 5 says go up. Remember this. 5 says go up. If you can remember 5 says go up, you will never have a problem rounding, okay? So let's take a look at these. Round to the nearest hundred thousand. 
Okay, first thing we're going to do is identify the place value we're rounding. So these are all going to be rounded to the hundred thousands, okay? Every single one of these is going to be rounded to that place value, okay? What is the number to the right of this one? It's an 8. Is it bigger than 5 says to go up? Yes, it is. 8 is bigger than 5. So that's going to tell the 1 to become a 2. Once 8 has done his job, he becomes a 0, and everybody behind him becomes a 0. See that? Let's try it again. This is the place value we're rounding to. The number to the right is a 2. Now 5 says to go up. Is this bigger than 5? No. 2 is going to make the 3 stay the same. 2 is finished doing his job, and he and everybody else turns into a 0. Okay, let's try it again. 7. The number to the right is a 4. Now remember the rule in red, 5 says to go up. It's not 5 or bigger, it's a 4, so that means it's going to stay the same. It tells the 7 to just stay the same. So we write our 7, 4 is done with his job, he turns into a 0, and everybody behind him turns into a 0. See that? It rounds to 700,000. How about this one? 651,578. The number to the right of the 6 is a 5. Remember our red rule, 5 says go up. So yes, 5 is telling the 6 to go up to a 7. 5 is done with his job, he becomes a 0, and everybody behind him becomes a 0. So it rounds to 700,000. See that? Now let's take a look at this one step further, okay? So it's going to be like a little review, all right? So remember our rule that 5 says go up. If we're going to round to the tens place, that's the tens place, right? So the first thing we do is we identify the place that we're rounding. And if you put a little line underneath it, it helps. You can always erase it later if you want your paper to be neat. The number to the right of it is a 7. 5 says go up. Is 7 bigger than 5? Yes. So that's telling the 1 to become a 2. 7 is finished with his job and he becomes a 0. So 17 rounds to 20 for the, if you're rounding to the tens place. Let's try this one. We're rounding to the tens place. The 4 is smaller than 5, so 2 is going to stay the same. 4 is done with his job. He becomes a 0. Let's try this one. Rounding to the tens place. 6 is the number to the right. Red rule, 5 says go up. 6 is bigger than 5, so yes, it, it's considered in the red rule. 6 tells the 3 to go up to 4. 6 is finished with his job and he becomes a 0. 36 rounds to 40. See that? Let's try hundreds place, okay? 7 is the number to the right. See how these numbers are similar to those? So do you know what's going to happen? If we're running to the hundreds place, the 7 is going to tell the 1 to go up to 2, isn't it? It finishes its job and it's done. 170 rounds to 200 if you're rounding in the hundreds place. Let's try this one. The 4 tells the 2 to stay the same because it's not as big as 5. So the 2 is going to stay the same, 4 is finished with its job, and it becomes a 0, and everybody behind it becomes a 0. 362 rounded to the hundreds place. The number to the right is a 6. Remember our red rule. 5 or bigger says go up. 6 is bigger, so it's got to go up. 3 goes up to 4. 6 is finished with its job, and it becomes a 0, and everybody behind it becomes a 0. Rounding to the hundreds place, 362 rounds to 400. All right, let's try thousands place. Okay. Let's identify the place value we're rounding to. 7 tells it to go up to 2. It tells the 1 to go up to 2. It's finished with its job, and it becomes a 0, and everybody behind it becomes a 0. 1,700 rounds to 2,000. See that? If you're rounding in the thousands place. All right, what about this one? The 4 tells the 2 to stay the same, like it did over here. So the 2 is going to stay the same. 
4 is finished with his job, he becomes a 0, and everybody behind him is a 0. So 2,400, rounding in the thousands place, rounds to 2,000. Let's try it with this one. The 6 tells the 3 to go up, so he's going to go up to 4. He's finished with his job, he becomes a 0, and everybody behind him becomes a 0, and it rounds to 4,000. Let's try rounding to 10,000's place. Identify the place value that you're rounding. Remember, the 7 tells the 1 to go up. When it's finished with its job, it and everybody behind, everybody behind it turns into a 0. Remember that the 4 tells the 2 to stay the same. It's finished doing its job telling it what to do. And it turns into a 0, and so does everybody behind it. And it rounds to 20,000 for the 10,000's place. Remember the 6 tells the 3 to go up. It becomes a 4, it's finished with its job, it becomes zeros, and so does everybody else. 36,496 rounds to 40,000 if you're rounding to the 10,000's place. 100,000's. Remember, the 7 tells the 1 to go up. When it's finished with its job, it turns into a 0, and so does everybody else, if there's other numbers here, like here, and it rounds to 200,000. How about here, to the hundred thousands place? The four tells the two to stay the same. It becomes a zero when it's done doing its job, and it rounds to two hundred thousand. How about here? The number to the right is a six, and it tells the three to go up. It becomes a four, everybody else becomes a zero. 369,581 rounds to 400,000. Now I'm going to show you one quick thing so that we can explain something. What if I said we were rounding this to the to the thousands place, not the hundred thousands? The thousands place. Where's the thousands place? It's here, it's the eight, isn't it? So if we were doing that and we have numbers over here. You still identify the number you're rounding. If you're rounding to the thousands place, that's this place. And you would still use the number to its right to tell you what to do. If we were rounding 138,202 to the thousands place, we use the 2 to tell the 8 what to do. 5 or bigger says go up, and it's not a 5 or bigger, is it? It's a 2. So it tells the 8 to stay the same. But the numbers in front of it are going to stay the same. See that? 2 is finished with his job, and he becomes zeros, and so does everybody else. But everybody on this side of the 8 is going to stay the same also, because they weren't involved. They had nothing to do with this rounding. They were just going along for the ride. The, this number right here was important to tell you for the 8 to stay the same, see? So these were important to turn into zeros. But everybody on that side of the place you're rounding is going to just go along for the ride. Okay, so I wanted you to remember that. All right, so the last thing I want to show you real quick is a thing called benchmarks. A benchmark is a known number of things that helps you understand the size or amount of something. So if I've got two jars of lemon drops, and this is the benchmark jar, we know that there's 20 lemon drops right here. Could you estimate how many lemon drops are in this jar? Well, you certainly can. All you have to do is figure out, okay, that much is 20, all right? so. Right there is 20, okay? So that much is 20. So that means that much is 40. So that much is 60. So guess how many is probably in here? If this bit right here is 20, you can use it as a benchmark to figure out how many lemon drops are in the other jar. There's about four of these. 
which means there's how many? 2, 4, 6, 8. Bring down the zeros. There's about 80 lemon drops in that jar. And that's because we used the benchmark. See that? That's a benchmark. It's anything that'll help you estimate how much is in something else. Okay? So, that is rounding numbers and estimating to 100,000. I want you to remember to always identify the, number, the place value you're rounding. Put a little line underneath it or something. And remember our red rule. Five or bigger says to go up. Five, six, seven, eight, or nine tells the number to go up. The number to that side of it, okay? This is the worker number. The number to the right is the worker number that always tells the place value on what to do, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine says go up. The rest stay the same. Turn into zeros when they're done with their job, okay? I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. I hope this helped. Bye.